Hello everyone, this is Daniel Smiley, and today I'm going to talk about calculating link budget for a TPMS system, which is Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Uh, this is a third part of a video series for simulating uh, TPMS uh, antenna system. In the last two part, we talk about how we simulated the antenna with the rim and with the car as a system. Uh, we studied the decoupling between different antennas. And here we are going to use those data from HFSS and transfer them to EMIT, which is another ANSYS software, and calculate the link budget with that software. So uh, we talk about what is BFSK, uh, what is the setup in EMIT, and what are the results. So EMIT is a very useful tool that we can uh, calculate uh, link budget and some other uh, post-process information uh, for our report. And you can uh, use HFSS output or other software out output and put the antenna uh, result like as S parameter or far field pattern in as an input or you can also uh, create them yourself inside the software and then study the link budget and uh, other output uh, once you do that you need to also assign the or choose the modulation for this uh, simulation we used bfsk which i'm going to uh, explain in a minute uh, we use the BFSK modulation. There are many different modulation that we can use, but this is one of the most common in car industry. So that's why we chose that one. As you can see, here is uh, the two, as if you missed the other two uh, videos, these are the TPMS and here is the valve stem at the circuit board and antenna all here. And they are located in the each tires and in the center, you'll see the receiver antenna. So four antennas as sender are on our four tires. And in the middle, we have the receiver antenna. And that's how you see uh, the, your tire pressure uh, on your cluster. So what is BFSK? It stands for binary frequency shift keying. So in a very simple way, um, the method uh, that is used here is just basically using two different uh, frequencies. So you're sending a um, wave from point A to point B. If that uh, frequency is F2, it's going faster, as you can see. If it is F1, it's going slower. If it is F2 and it's going faster, it will be 1. As you can see here, it's faster. Faster is 1 and 1. Again, here is 1. If it is slower, then it is F1 and it is 0. It's one of. Uh, most common uh, way of uh, modulation, and it's uh, somehow safe. Uh, you can have a much safer uh, transmission, uh, but for this purpose, this is uh, good enough. And uh, as you can see here, uh, we can show more details, like how the slope is created and how we calculate the bandwidth. Uh, we can go a lot in detail, but we rather skip it uh, for this presentation. Just very briefly, with the FC and FB, uh, we calculate the bandwidth, and that is uh, used uh, in the emit software. That's one of the parameters that you need to put there. So uh, that's why we need to calculate this. But uh, very briefly, this is how it is. It's a uh, the bandwidth between the main two F1 and uh, like the frequency F1 and F2 and, and their uh, big slopes. So from this point to this point. Now that we know what is uh, BFSK, and by the way, we have different uh, frequency model like uh, f four FSK or six F eight FSK, but we use BFSK here. And they are more complicated, but it's not needed for this purpose. Now that we know what is BFSK, let's uh, let us uh, set up the model. So in EMIT, you need to import the 
antenna parameters uh, and the result. And we did that already in the emit and uh, then you need to locate them. So you tell the software location of and position of each antenna. So which uh, gave the position to the software and it locates on these different position for the wheels and in the center for the receiver antenna. Uh, please keep in mind that this uh, car is just uh, for visualization and doesn't have uh, effect on the simulation results. So even if you take that, take this and put the box, you, you'll get the same result. It won't, it won't change. So uh, after we uh, position them, we need to set the coupling. And also we consider that the ground is a reflection uh, for our uh, uh, simulation. So it reflects the signal, like it goes to the ground and uh, comes back. Here you see how the radio and the antenna are, are uh, set together. So we have the center antenna, which is the receiver to its radio. And here we have the, for instance, RR rewrite uh, antenna, and it's connected to radio. And uh, once you have this, we call this ANTRR antenna rewrite or antenna rear lift, and the, uh, the center and the front lift. As you can see, we need to uh, set the coupling, which we did here, for instance, between the center and the front left or the uh, uh, rear right. And here, for instance, between the front right and rear right, there is no coupling. So we set all that uh, coupling in, in the model. And uh, once we did that, we move to the next step, which is putting some numbers. For this simulation, we use the binary FSK at V, as we mentioned, the frequency deviation 0, 005. We uh, chose three as low, you can choose five or seven if you want. Bit rate 5,000, the channel bandwidth is uh, 0 0.25 megahertz. And power peak is 40 dB and the uh, noise is minus uh, 74 and SRNR is, is as uh, 50 dB. So with this setup, we run the simulation and uh, here you see the result. Uh, here's the receiver, here's the, uh, sorry, here's the transceiver, here's the receiver, and here's the link module. And as you can see, without any interface, the link module is 113, and if we have interface, it is uh, minus 13. So that gives us a good uh, number as to how we should uh, design our uh, amplifier or our antenna, or if there's no need for amplifier. Uh, another way to uh, present the result is that uh, we have uh, this uh, power at the receiver, they receive susceptibility and the peak in EMI margin. And as you can see, they are shown here with different colors. And here is the EMI margin is 116. It's almost the uh, same as rest, rest result. And here is the power at the different uh, frequencies if you are in if you are interested, but for this result, we are interested only on this uh, frequency. So with this software, we were able to uh, calculate the link margin. It's very useful for this uh, purpose and we highly recommend uh, using that. So in summary, we uh, imported the antenna coupling as a S matrix. We locate the antenna and we set the different parameters then we chose BFSK for our modulation, and then the leak budget was uh, calculated and we illustrated that. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and found it uh, useful. It, there are many other applications for EMIT that uh, I recommend using them. So we are at Ozen Engineering Corporation. We use a physics based simulation to solve multi disciplinary engineering problems. If you have any question or uh, you need any consulting or service, please feel free to reach out to us. We are a light channel partner for over 17 years and we do multi-physics final element computational fluid dynamic as well as high frequency and low frequency electromagnetics. So we, both, we do both mechanical and electrical uh, consulting. If you have any question, please feel free to call us or reach out as info at .com. 
I hope you enjoy watching this video and have a great day.